All right, everybody, happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stat with you as I am every Sunday from 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists from northeastern Pennsylvania, doing their own original material every Sunday night. Loba, how are you? A year older. I know. I was going <laughs> to say, she didn't give me a chance. No, I had happy to shut birthday. you down early. Thank happy you. Happy birthday. So you had a birthday on Monday. I did. And you turned... 26. I knew it was 26. I don't. I, I just wanted you to say it. Across and you, the and you're making a big deal about this. Why? I'm, I'm closer to 30 now than I am to 20. It's upsetting. You haven't even defined yourself as a person yet. That doesn't even come until you're about 30. When you're about 30, you'll, you'll, you'll be like, you know, this is me. I, this is me. This is the deal. You know, <laughs> I'm you, pretty much am there, though. It's pretty much there. You're probably getting close. I, uh, I actually think I was 27. I actually had a conversation with a friend of mine who was 27, and we kind of realized, you know, I think... I think I've got it. I think this is who I am. I, I and think it's it's a good thing. I really think touring makes you really confident in who you are because you have to walk into a room with people you don't know and totally own the day. Otherwise, it's going to be a bad day for everybody. So it really makes you sure in who you are and what your knowledge is. So I feel like that's really helped me in the last year a lot. And I kind of feel like I'm like, this is what you get, geek and crazy person and all. Here we are. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I, I think I'm pretty much already at that point. But I tend to be farther ahead of people my age anyway. I think that there's something to what you're saying. I was already writing newspaper columns by the time I was 27 years old. And it makes you grow up. That's for sure. You know, you're like, hey. It's my career. It's what I do. And yeah. I've realized this. And once you realize that you're set in a way, I feel like you grow up because you can work towards goals in your life. I should say it makes some people grow up. Obviously. Some, yeah. Uh, there's, <laughs> there are exceptions to that There's some role. exceptions lately. Um, but let's <laughs> uh, let's um, let's get to the music. This is a great song from Shannon Marciata. This one's called Stick in the Mud.
Terry Cummings here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Highway 420. That is um, <laughs> the longtime Strawberry Jam vocalist uh, song. And Lo <laughs> Lobo laughs because um, the song has uh, some connotations to it, I guess we should say. You know, I think we usually always play that one the third week of April, and we probably will again in, in a couple of months, uh, you know. Terry, Terry's doing his thing. And before that, we heard um, Shannon Marciata with a song called Stick in the Mud. Let's, let's, let's dip back a little bit here on the show to the song that I sort of sometimes refer to as the granddaddy of them all. When oh, you, dear. When you talk about original music and you talk about local artists that were looking for success and, you know, can they do it? Can a band from here rise up and, you know, have national success? Certainly the boys did uh, back in 1971 with this song. It was one of the top 20 hit in the Billboard charts. They went on to form Dakota, uh, Bill Kelly, and Jerry Hladzik. Um, they wound up doing some great stuff with Queen. They opened for Queen the game tour, which was probably Queen's biggest tour ever in America. So this is, uh, this is an important tune in the history of uh, pop music in Northeastern Pennsylvania. The Boys, Timothy. <laughs> Time I spent with you, and I'm still. 
slipping into a finer peace of mind Still dripping from our very last time Don't you want to run away someplace where everybody smiles all the time? It ain't so strange to think that we could leave this whole world far behind Maybe, 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 never mind
show here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called One Desire. Again, I mentioned new project from Nick with some new music coming out shortly, I think early February, so we'll be on that. Before that, Eddie Apnell, maybe never mind. Eddie, uh, one of my favorite local artists, does such a great job, uh, you know, not only with his own music, but supporting others. Uh, the Tony's open mic night on Wednesdays in Pittston, Tony's Wine Cellar. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's off the hook, you know. Right? Um, that's a great place if you've never been there it's, it's awesome it's beautiful and you know Eddie posts pictures all the time of the musicians that are coming down Brett Alexander's often there the guys from Three Imaginary Boys are often there Edwin Dazzo's there other cats swinging in and out you know playing getting up and jamming um, and Eddie Eddie's in the middle of all that he does a great job with it. before that the boys with Timothy going all the way back to 1971 let's keep the music rolling here with our February artist of the month who will be performing at Music on the Menu Live series at Breakers. This is Tom Flannery with a song called If I Only Knew. Beyond your way 
be on your way I'm not dirt under your shoe I can't take you being rude Just get on out mm, There's the door I am sick of all your shit That is all, that is it Just back on out There's the door I didn't think I stuttered Thought I made myself real clear Take your weighted sorrow And get gone, get out of here mm -hmm. Get out of here Do you hear what I have to say? If you don't bring me joy If you don't bring me joy If you don't bring me joy Be on your way Be on your way I won't let you bring me down I won't let you have control I won't let you freeze my frown I won't let you have that hold Be on your way Be on your way mm -hmm. Be on your way Be on your way If you don't bring me joy If you don't bring me joy If you don't bring me joy Be on your way Be on your way
Woody Brown's project here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Missed It by a Minute. Those guys play um, the River Street Jazz Cafe sometimes. I, they used to, anyway. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're still swinging through there, but that used to be sort of their base here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Before that, Ed Rendazzo, If You Don't Bring Me Joy, Be On Your Way, the title track from Ed's new record. Again, I want to thank Ed for the great show that he gave us at Breakers mm -hmm. uh, earlier in the month as part of the week, the um, Breakers music, music on the Menu Live original music series, which he has played with me in the past, you know, um, when we were down at the Woodlands doing it. But that was his first time here at Breakers, and he was very excited about it. He brought a lot of uh, joy to the performance, uh, playing off the title track of the record there. Before that, Tom Flannery, who'll be with us next month with a song called If I Only New. We're going to keep the music rolling here with Breaking Benjamin. One of the big stories locally in 2015 was the Breaking re Benjamin having the number one album in America. I think it was only there for a week or so, but you know that's pretty common anymore. You know, with the way the charts are, people mm -hmm. get in there. Usually, it is your first week because your diehard fans go out and buy it, and you you you, you debut high, and they did it. And so, first band ever from northeastern Pennsylvania hit number one on the charts. This one goes back a couple years. This one's called The Diary of Jean.
here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Still in Love. Before that, Fighting Zero with Refine. That's Scott Van Fossen singing that one. Scott is one of uh, several musicians that we've come to know over the uh, years that have relocated. I believe Scott is now in Nashville, Mm. where I believe Bob Lewis is. Um, Rick Mamler is there. He's been there for a long time. There's a lot of artists moving out that way. He's been down there for a long time. Uh, Tim Farley is in Austin, Texas. So we do have... Some friends here from the local music community that wrote some great records here, recorded some great records here, and left us with some great records here. They're now, you know, trying their music in other parts of the country. But I'm still in touch with all these guys on Facebook. I still follow what they're doing. John Smith mm-hmm. uh, from Underground Saints, also in Nashville, I believe. And so um, we still like to play those records. Before that, Breaking Benjamin with The Diary of James. Keep the music rolling now with the local reggae king, the master, the man, the myth, the legend, George Wesley, Old Lion.
Jared Campbell here on Music on the Menu on the River with a song called Rest Out. Jared's from Binghamton, New York. Um, a lot, you know, like 78 West, who we played last week, I got to know Jared through his friendship uh, with the Badleys back in the 90s. Or Actually, Jared, I think, was more of the early 2000s. Um, he came down and, and opened some shows for them, and Brett Alexander produced one or two of his records. He actually recorded an album live at the Waterfront, which is now oh, wow. the River Grill. Mm -hmm. Same bar. They just yeah. remodeled it, but same place. And he did some shows with me down there, some some live music series shows that I was involved with. I've always thought he was just like this really cool, like, you know, Gavin DeGraw type. Yeah, type. yep, Gavin DeGraw. Yeah, he, I think he gets that comparison a lot, and that's not bad because, you know, he's just got it. I mean, just good good songs great voice Jason Mraz too reminds me of a little bit of that, that right up that alley he's right there and I'm a big fan of Jared and he's only about you know an hour up the road in Binghamton so we we swing him on the show here sometimes before that George Wesley as we were talking about while we were playing him too um just you know one of the coolest people just one of the coolest people he's in town. like our local Bob Marley he's so awesome <laughs> And in what I was telling Lobo while we were listening to the tune when he, when when you do something that George appreciates if he's thanking you for something or me you know, playing him on the show or something like that, his his catchphrase is maximum respect. You know, so if, if like if you see George and like you know maximum respect, man, and so we give George maximum respect because such a such a great dude and, and what a great body of work. I'll leave it now as I always do with the Badleys. This song goes back to 2009 from the Love Is Rain album. It was uh, really one of the songs that really grabbed everybody when that record came out. It was just a bomb. I mean, what a great song from Brett Alexander and the Badleys called Drive Back Home. I haven't played it on the show for a, in a long time, and that's my fault. So we'll take care of that right now. Drive Back Home, the Badleys. We'll catch you next week. Took a ride up through the mountains To the edge of my hometown Made me feel just like an angel Looking down All the places I remember All the people still the same All the things I ran away from that remember. Struggle